So do you know which section is committed to making Superior run as smoothly and efficiently as possible on your system? In this video, I'd like to talk about the voice and layer section because that is exactly what the function of this section is. Now we've talked about some various ways you can go about making Superior run a little more efficiently on your system. For example, going to 16-bit, using cached mode, and going into your settings tab, and making some adjustments right here as well. Now then, there are two sections right here, okay? You got your layer limits, and I want you to relate that to the RAM and the maximum number of samples that you want Superior to use. Here you got soft samples, gradient, and hard samples, okay? In essence, this is telling Superior not to exceed six samples for soft hits, four samples for gradient hits, and six samples for hard hits. This pertains to the kick drum. Now, if you watch, whenever I change instruments by right-clicking or control-clicking on a kit piece, you'll see these numbers right here are going to change. That's because the maximum number of samples for that particular piece is not as high as they are for this piece. You understand? The higher the numbers, the more samples Superior is going to use, thus putting more stress on your RAM. Easy as that. Now, like I mentioned a moment ago, you can choose a kit piece by right-clicking or control-clicking. And if you want to choose multiple pieces at a time, you hold the shift key and you go ahead and left click on the pieces. Now, in addition to doing that, you can also choose the piece by coming right here and choosing it. For example, snare, you see how the number changed right there? That gives you an idea of what the layer limits are for, okay? The voice limit is directly related to CPU usage. And again, you can double click and manually enter a number if you like. So in a nutshell, voice limits will optimize the use of the CPU by adjusting the polyphony. That's what these numbers are, okay? And just to do a quick recap, the layer limits pertain to RAM usage. Voice limit pertains to CPU usage, okay? You choose your instruments right here or by right-clicking or control-clicking. If you want to edit articulation only, you engage that right there. Now, I do want to show you something else. If you look right here, you'll see a downward facing arrow. Now, this is a set of presets that pertain to the voice and layer section. You have a default preset, and you have unlimited preset. As you can see, the kit size has grown, and there's no limit to soft gradient and hard hits. Now, you might be wondering why the voice limit didn't change. Well, because these are presets for layer limits. You see, layer limits, not voice limit. And now they've got all kinds of different presets here, depending upon what your system can handle. There's even one for e-drums right there. I would say that's aimed at users of e-drums in a live setting. That would be a great way to go. Now the lower half of the submenu has the, you know, usual look to it. Next, load selected only, save selected as, so forth and so on. All of these things we've covered already. However, there are a couple of separate options that we haven't seen before. For example, exclude unloaded articulations, exclude unused articulations. These are another couple of options that you can select to maximize efficiency with Superior in your system. It's all a matter of what your system is capable of. Remember, the higher the number, the more samples that will be used. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. I hope I shed some light on this for you and helped you understand it a little better. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.